Mm. Hello guys, it's me, Mr. Gaming Guitarist, and I am back with another episode of The Gaming Corner. And um, now I know you might be thinking, why is this the only, are these the only videos you're going to make from now on? Of course they're not. But, I, but, you know, I just haven't had that as much time as I used to, to make that many videos. But, um, but this is the one that I'll try to keep on a consistent basis, as you've seen previously. Now, anyway, so, what is today's topic? Well... I honestly think this is going to be the shortest episode of the Gaming Corner ever, because there, I mean, there are things to talk about, but the th but there isn't really too much to say about them. Uh, of course, um, the big news story of, of like, the past week is, yes, Grand Theft Auto V got delayed. <clears throat> now... I know that a lot of people have been really pissed off at this, but it I always hate it when, uh, when a bunch of so-called fans um, get mad at a game because it's being delayed. And, but that can prove to be a, a double-edged sword, as I will get to in a second. But, um, yeah, so... Uh, it's be it's originally supposed to come out sometime in April or May because uh, the posters always said spring 2013 and every uh, major rock star game that's come out in the past few years has always come around in that April May spring time period you know Red Dead Redemption Ellie Noir X Paint 3 they all came out in May so all of us have have been expecting GTA 5 to be released in May but it turns out that will not be the case it's being delayed until September 17 now I know that a lot of us are disappointed I was too uh, okay because uh, I don't know if any of you know that know this, and I may have said this before in the past, I may have said this in a previous episode of The Gaming Corner, but uh, Rockstar is my favorite game publisher ever. I mean, I just love everything they make, and they have never disappointed, and they've never made a bad game, and I'm very happy with all the games they make, and I'm really looking forward to this one. And I don't see this delay as a bad thing at all. I would m much rather have the game be perfect as it possibly could be, rather than be rushed out and unfinished. Urgh, Mass Effect 3! <clears throat> or practically any EA game for that matter. Now, I know, I have to bash on EA once again. <laughs> um, so yeah, so that's Grand Theft Auto... Five. And the other thing that I find interesting about that is this is it's kind of continuing the tradition of Grand Theft Auto where now the, all the GTA games are being rele released in the fall instead of in the instead of being released in the spring now because I remember three GTA 3, Vice City, San Andreas, those all came out in like the October, September, November-ish time period in the fall. Yeah, the fall. So I can't wait for that. I mean, come on. We've been waiting for this game for how long now? Five years? What? Okay, what? Um, so what's four more months going to do? Will it really kill you? No, it won't. Okay, so. And then, of course, we all saw this big 40-second video of Sony talking about... Uh, it was just a bunch of PlayStation buttons and lightning. And, of course, we all know that this is going to be the next generation PlayStation. When I saw that, I got so excited, I had to take a shit. Yeah. I had so much excitement, it literally, literally made me almost shit myself. You, you heard that? Sony made me shit on command. Yeah, this is how you can tell that um, this is the real deal. Sony's not messing around. And hopefully, you know, I just can't wait. I want to recreate that feeling that I had when I saw the PS3 for the first time 
seven or no eight nine years ago so, no that's it whatever it's over five years ago I just uh, I mean this is a really big deal and I just can't wait to see what the next generation of games are gonna look like it's very exciting yeah yeah so February 20th um, that's going to happen and all I will say is this, if Sony just hypes all this up just for some minor thing, that let me put it this way. If they show anything but the new PlayStation at this event, um, people will get stabbed. Okay, you know I'm joking, but you get what I mean. Um, anyways, so next, um, what, what's next? Well, um, so just yesterday, because I'm recording this on February 8th, 2013, just so you know, um, yeah, um, yeah, I'm making video, Ubisoft said that, <clears throat> posted this announcement that said that Rayman Legends, okay, is no longer a Wii U exclusive. Now, okay, that's... I've, I've got mixed feelings about that. Um, first of all, I'm glad that more people are going to get a chance to play it. But then here comes... Okay, and then this is where this shit hits the fan. Um, not... Only is it coming out on the PS3 and the 360, it's being delayed until September. And that includes the Wii U version along with it. And the thing is, the Wii U version is coming out in just a few weeks. It is done. It is ready. And now it's just going to be pushed all the way over to September. Okay. Um, what the hell, Ubisoft? Okay, first of all, okay, I don't own a Wii U, but, well, now, now, okay, but there are, I know that there are several people that have been waiting, uh, that have bought a Wii U just to play this game, and this is like the first major, really big e exclusive that wasn't a launch title that everyone would play, that wasn't, well, that was a third-party game, and everyone was, is excited for it, because, you know, this Rayman Legends game, it looks really damn good, and... You know, or Rayman Origins, I mean, it, it was a good game, but this one just looks just great. And now you're, and so this was originally supposed to be a Wii U launch title. But then it got delayed until September, and, now, and then it got delayed until, uh, I think it's February or March. And now you're going, and now just as it's ready to release, now you're going to make them wait for, I don't know, May, June, July. For seven months. You're going to make people wait for seven extra months just for this? A game that's finished, ready to go out to the door, a game ready to be sold to all these happy, waiting, anxious customers. And what do you do? You just spit on them. What the, what, what, what the fuck, Ubisoft? I'm, I mean, come on. You... Uh, that's just bullshit. It is. It really, really is. And the only thing that they're doing with this is how do they how how do they do this to how are they going to respond to all the Nintendo fans, Nintendo Wii U owners that they all just slapped in the face, just backhanded like a pimp? What are they doing to them? Oh, we'll just give you a second demo on the day that the game was supposed to fucking come out. Wow, if that's not a dick move, I don't know what is. And in this case, you know, when games get delayed and when stuff is nor... I mean, when all this stuff is like this, you know, I'm normally against all the fanboy hate. But in this case, I agree. The fans have every right to be pissed. And Ubisoft should be ashamed of themselves. I mean, okay, if okay, so to those of you that don't that do not know what this is, what this feels like. All right, let, let, let me just put it this way. <clears throat> okay, so let's suppose um, 
let's suppose this guy goes to a, a club, okay, just some random guy. He sees this one girl he's a really attracted to, you know, she's just, she's just a very good person, you know, the, he really wants to get it on with her. She, oh, oh fuck, ow, I'm getting a cramp on my foot! Motherfucker, why now? Why now when I'm recording a video? Oh god, oh god, oh god. Ow. Ow. Oh, oh god. Ah. Oh, you've never seen me get this on film, have you? Oh god, ow. Oh. Motherfucker. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ow. Uh. You're really enjoying this, are you? The, peop the people that hate me. Oh god, you just love to see me in pain, don't you? Oh god. <sighs> Sorry about that. So, he goes on, and, and so they go into, she asks, so she walks up to him, and she says, would you like to go to my apartment? And I was like, hell yeah! So, they go over to her apartment, and, you know, they go to her bedroom. They start getting intimate. She starts taking her clothes off, and, like, just, damn, she's nice. And then she says, I'm gonna give you the best blowjob you've ever had in your entire life. I mean, and we're talking like such an, like, like a nuclear-powered Dyson vacuum. That hardcore. So, yeah, this guy's really excited, you know? And then she starts taking his clothes off. You know, and then right before she's about to <clears throat> plug in and turn on the vacuum, she just stands up, slaps him in the face, and says, come back in seven months, and I'm also going to do everyone else you've known. Yeah, tough luck. Sorry. Get out. Seven months later. Then I'll see you again. Bye. Slams the door in his face. Yeah, I know that analogy was long drawn out and stupid and explicit, but that is how that feels. That's like a direct backhand to everyone that picked up a Wii U that wanted to buy this game. That is what this feels like. And I mean, and it's not like I hate Ubisoft. I mean, I like Ubisoft. I've played several of their games. Throughout my life as a gamer, I love Ubisoft. So, you know, they make all the Tom Clancy games. Assassin's Creed, Splinter Cell, right? Rayman! This one that we're all excited for. I've played all of them, and I've loved them all. But what the hell, you just made a bad move, Ubisoft. I just hope they're not never this stupid again. Because this is really a low blow. No pun intended to my last analogy. So, yeah. That is my thoughts on it. And uh, what else do I have to say? Um, well, there was new gameplay for The Last of Us, which is exciting because there wasn't an E3 demo. The, all we got really for gameplay was just the, the stuff they showed at E3. Now they're actually showing more stuff. So they had this new demo where you were fighting the infected and every journalist that played it says, it's played it because this was, was at a press event. Um, they said, um, Every journalist that's played it said, this is the scariest game I have ever played in my entire life. Um, that's a lot, because I mean, we've got Dead Space and Amnesia. Those two games are pretty damn terrifying. But then, so I was kind of skeptical. So, I mean, the game looked really good already, so... I was wondering what this was going to be like. So I used it with wireless headphones, and um, I nearly shit myself. No ki uh, No joke. I mean, I was getting really scared, terrified. I mean, that stuff is was just intense. I mean, my heart was pounding, and I almost had to stop watching the video because the tension was just way too high, and the suspense was just... <laughs> and not only that, all you hear, there's no music, all you hear are the infected. And that's just... And if they could keep that with the infected, like this whole feeling throughout the entire game... Oh god, The Last of Us is going to be... I, I can't wait even more. 
my, I'm even more impatient than I already was, as you clearly saw in my previous videos. Oh, I, I can't wait for that game. And now, and now, seeing that GTA V has been delayed into September, it makes The Last of Us just 0.0001% easier waiting for, and that's not saying much, because I still can't fucking wait. Oh, yeah. And, par and this game is honestly partially the reason why I bought a PS3 in the first place. So yeah, that just shows the power of how great this game already is, and it's I haven't even played it yet. So, yeah. Uh, that's really all I've got to say for this episode of The Gaming Corner. Uh, please comment, uh, please uh, like this video, and uh, yeah, please, and if you haven't and you're uh, subscribed yet, you're watching for, this for me for the first time, please subscribe. I want to know what you think about the stuff I just talked about. So yeah, that's all I've got to say. Goodbye. I will see you later. Bye.